What's up guys? Today we're going to be installing new headlights on the car that you can't see. The AE86 over there. Stock ones, alright. But um, I got the new brighter ones from another um, A86 owner. They're the, uh, I mostly wanted the shift boot from him. But he also had these Ray Brig um, multi-reflector headlamps for racing. So I had to cop them because, you know, I'm a professional race car driver. And... Uh, yeah, we're going to install them today. I heard they're going to be so much brighter. And uh, they'll be good for when I'm delivering tofu down the toge. They're the same. Supposedly, they're the same OEM company that made them for Toyota. They're just a high-performance model of the headlights. So, they're going to be pretty dope. They work on RX-7s, uh, Supras, Hiluxes. Pretty much any car with pop-ups. And some without pop-ups. I think the cool thing about these headlights is that they work on so many different cars. Like... You know, if you get a Vibe headlight, you're not going to be able to put it on my MR2. You're not going to be able to put it on a Tundra. So these, they're just like universal kind of. It's dope. Damn, David. Already getting to it. He already removed the, uh, the garnish around there, whatever it's called. David says we should keep the OEM glass ones, but why not ruin these first and then still have those in perfect condition? And they're lighter too, I bet. So weight reduction, boys. Weight reduction. That right there, that's like minus five horsepower. With the new headlights, we're gonna have an extra 10. Damn, it says Raybrig too. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds dope. It's kind of like, sounds like Gucci or something. Yeah? <laughs> Raybrig? Like Gucci? <laughs> Kinda. Ragucci. See, sounds like the same thing. Mm, no. <laughs> no. No. Like, uh,. Random Chinese man made a random. Uh, random Japanese man, excuse you. Know your Asian uh, countries. I bet these are made in China. Uh uh. They're made in Japan. Look at it. They're made in Japan. Look in the back. Alright, I will look. Damn. Alright. So David thinks these are made in China. Let's prove him wrong. Made in Thailand, boys. Not Japan. Thailand's closer to Japan than China. Can any of y'all tell me in the comments what these two things are? David and me both don't know what they are. They're like in every old car. And I don't know if you're supposed to hook up your blinker fluid to it or what, but uh, we have no idea what they are for. The time has come to test these babies out. I think they have a blue tint, but uh, I think they made two different versions, like a clear one and a blue tint version. But, you know, I could see a little bit of both. Leave down in the comments what you think they are, blue tint or the clear ones. Are they nice and white? Wow, what a difference. Wow. Such a difference. Such a difference. I thought they were going to be LEDs or white lights, but they're still yellow. Still keeping it 80s. Without getting this part, I don't think I would have got the headlights, so this is the main thing I was after. The reason why is because mine is cut for some reason. For some reason, the last owner decided to cut this for no apparent reason. So we're going to be replacing it with this. And I saw one of these going on like eBay for like $250 and I was not about to pay that for a rubber shift boot. So I found this dude, he sold it to me for a good price and it's about to look way better than it did before. When I went to the last car shop, I got this dope ass like reflective purple greenish shift knob and uh, I'm loving it. It's weighted. It doesn't get hot, but it feels like metal, and uh, I think it's pretty dope to add to the uh, purple seats. So we took off the radio bezel, and now we just gotta take those bolts out, and I think it'd be good. Only thing that doesn't, I don't really like about this car, it doesn't have AC. But uh, maybe one day in the future we'll fix that, and I don't have to sort my balls off anymore, but for right now, you know, it's living the Filipino lifestyle. Man, what type of shenanigans is this? Try to get the bolts out, there is a nut under the car that you have to get to to take the shift boot out. Man, these old cars, so damn complicated. So we got that baby off. Now we need to replace the, um, the gasket on this thing. We should be good to go. And just like that, looking brand new. For some reason, these are so hard to find. I would think that these would be the same in the AE92, maybe the AE101. But... For this generation, I guess it's just they barely made any shift boots, or I guess it's just because it's super old. There we go. Brand new. So now I don't have that sh broken shift boot anymore. Looks nice. 
Hell yeah. That's what I was looking for. All right, guys. So today, this is day two of the vlog. We are going to go pick up some more A86 parts. My interior is kind of crap. Everything is busted. It has the SR5 interior, so it's not nice at all. Um, there's a lot of cracks in the door panels. The seats are ugly. They're mismatched. Um, and... They're just ugly in general. We today are gonna go pick up the interior that Takami has in his, the red and brown interior. We're not getting the dash or anything, we're just getting the front rear seats and both door panels for the front and back. And a couple other goodies that he, um, you know, just gives us or anything else that I wanna buy. And uh, yeah, we're gonna vlog the experience going there. Too bad his car is a right hand drive model or I'd also get the uh, dash and uh, you know, everything like the glove box, but his is right hand drive, so we can't get any of that, but we're getting all the other maroon and brown parts that fit my car. So his passenger is gonna be my driver, and my passenger is gonna be the driver, but it's, it's still gonna fit. That's the whole point is it's still gonna fit. Everything that's gonna fit is going in my car. Yeah, so we're just gonna be like Takami cruising the mountains now in our maroon and brown interior. I got the shift boot fixed already, like you saw earlier in the video, and also the headlights. So now is to finish it off with the new interior. It's also a terrible day to go get seats and interior because it's freaking raining all day long, dudes. Oh my God. So by the time we get home, we're gonna have wet seats or we're gonna do a really good job wrapping them with plastic. But either, either or, that's a lot of work. All right guys, so we just got here, hour and 30 minutes later. Uh, we're gonna meet him in like 15 minutes. I have to take a big crap. But COVID-19 is really how he's screwing me because I wanted to go in and out behind us because we're meeting in and out. It's closed. Chick-fil-A, Bush's Chicken over there is closed. Near the bakery cafe is probably also closed. Only way is gonna be at a Target, but by the time I get back, I don't know if it's gonna be 10, uh, 10 no, 1.30. So I'm just gonna wait until we get the stuff and then, and then I'll go take my big crap. So the Zenki hatch is over there. Uh, we took all the door panels from it right here. Those are the rear seats and the rest is in the back. And uh, we're gonna go get the other driver's seat right now. That one is really busted up, but uh, you know, I'll reupholster it one day. It's better than having nothing and it's free. If y'all didn't see it, it's right there, baby. I know I was filming the Avenger the whole entire time, but there it is right there, buddies. They're stalking me right there. All right guys, so we just left his house. We also got, um, so we got that GTS seat I was talking about, but we also got the uh, Torino floor mats. I don't even know if those are rare, but they're kind of really, really beat up. But I mean, it's just, it was free, he threw it in. And I'm probably gonna get a lot of other car, parts off his car because he's just taking everything off of it and S2000 swapping it. So it's going to be a really, really uh, easy way to get half price parts because they've been used a little bit. All right guys, so we just got home. I don't think we're gonna be able to install it today because it is raining like super hard out here. It's like off and on. Right now it's not that bad, but earlier when we were about to be home, it was crazy. And uh, because of its craziness, some of the seats are wet. So this is all, all that we got. If you guys know how much this stuff is worth, like leave a comment down in the description below. But we got a red, um, red and brown seat from factory. Now it's like red and black. Um, it's got a bust over here, a couple busts on the back, one right here. But I mean, it's overall in good condition. This is a seat that Takami drove in. Um, I got another one that is um, black and gray. This one is hella beat. Doesn't even have a backing on it. Uh, it doesn't even have a backing on it, so it's really, really beat up. I don't know if I'm gonna put that in the car. Maybe I'll just reupholster it in one day, make it the same as this one, and then I'll put it in the car. We got the rear seats, and this is the bottom of it. It used to be brown, but I think it's just black now, or maybe it used to be red, I'm not really sure. And the thing that I really wanted was the uh, door panels that are red and brown. I think also now they're black. But these are the ones that Takami had in his car. It even has the Japanese um, lettering. I don't know what it says, so I'm not Japanese, but it's pretty dope to have and because the uh, left-hand drive models don't have that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all we got. He also gave us these floor mats. I'm not really sure um, if they're rare or how much they're worth or whatever, but they're kind of beat up. I was just thinking like, maybe I could reupholster this, take out the the logo and uh, just replace it on a new 
uh, piece of cardboard because I mean the, the rubber isn't that bad. The rubber is not the problem. It's just um, the cloth part, which I think would be the easiest to replace out of all that. Hope you guys did enjoy this video of the road trip and putting in the first parts to the 8.6. If you guys do enjoy the channel, please like and subscribe. Don't have a job again. So uh, yeah, because of coronavirus. So uh, this is my job and I haven't even get started paid yet because I'm not at 4,000 watch hours. So if you want to tell your friends or anything like that, just leave it down or just leave them, leave them the link and uh, maybe they can... Uh, Subscribe to it and watch my videos too. See you guys in the next one. More Ice 300, A86, and MR2 videos coming soon. Peace out.